separating substances, evaporation, condensation, saturated solutions. When you mix salt and water, the salt dissolves in the water. Can you strain or filter this mixture and separate the salt and water? No. If you let the mixture of salt and water stand for a while, will the salt settle down? No. So, sedimentation and decantation won't work. Filtration won't work. How can we separate a mixture of salt and water? Salt from seawater is separated by evaporation. The water is trapped in pans. It just sits there in the sun. As the sun shines, the water evaporates. Salt left behind is gathered and carried away. How does this happen? How does evaporation happen? The heat of the sun makes some of the water particles at the top of the water go into the air. These water particles go into the air as water vapour. You can leave a mixture of salt and water in a bowl in the sun for a day or two and see what happens. Even when you boil water, the water starts turning into steam. This steam is also water vapour. So, are evaporation and boiling the same thing? When we boil water, first we start seeing bubbles. The water becomes very hot, boils and starts turning into water vapour. We can see the steam coming out as the water turns into water vapour. When water evaporates, no such thing happens. There are no bubbles and you can't see the vapour forming. It's a very slow process and happens at normal temperature. So, are boiling and evaporation the same thing? No. In both cases, the water turns into vapour, but the way it happens is different in each case. We know that water turns into vapour. That can happen by any of the two processes. Is there a reverse process to turn vapour back into water? Yes, there is. It is called condensation. Hold a cool dish above the steam of boiling water. You will see drops of water forming on that dish. That is condensation. Condensation happens on a glass of cold water too. When vapour cools down, it becomes liquid again. That is condensation. You can see condensation on the bathroom mirror when you take a hot shower. Condensation is what turns vapour into droplets to form clouds and give us rain. What did we just learn? Water can turn into vapour by heating it, that is boiling. Water can turn into vapour at room temperature because the sun's heat, wind etc. That is evaporation. Water vapour turns back into liquid water on cooling. The change from gas to liquid 
is called condensation. Condensation helps to form clouds and give us rain. When we mix salt in water, we see that salt dissolves in water. Add some more salt to the water. That salt will dissolve too. Can you go on adding salt to the water? Will water dissolve it all? You can go on dissolving salt in a glass of water. After you cross the limit, the salt won't dissolve. When you reach the limit, the solution is a saturated solution. A saturated solution is one in which no more of that substance can be dissolved. This is an important concept in science. Remember it well. If you heat the saturated solution, it can dissolve more. When we heat the liquid, it dissolves things faster too. That's why your bone vita dissolves faster in hot milk. 